What's good? It's Jordan. Today I'll be talking to you about how sin delays progression. See, many times we may sin and we may not understand that we are sinning. We may not understand the consequences of sinning. We may not understand how the Most High is providing us, guiding us, strengthening us and making a way for us. We may do things in this world that are not right. And the things that we may do in this world, it may delay us from progression. You know, sometimes we may feel envious, jealous towards other people. We may feel negative and angry and spiteful for our lives being different from other people's lives. You know, we may feel that we're not able to get the results that other people may get in this world. We may feel that we deserve the world and others don't all negative traits you know this is sin you know we may feel that we need to fight others and just show others that we reign dominant over other people and just to show that we have the ability to be a strong leader with trying to reign dominance over other people and many times when we do this god is not pleased Many times God has our blessings put forth for us, but we oftentimes do not do the right things. So our blessings may be delayed or we may not even get them at all. You know, focusing on other people, focusing on what others have and what others are doing in this life will delay our own progression. Why? Because we're supposed to be focusing on what we need to do. We're supposed to be focusing on how we can grow. We're supposed to focus on our own lives and focus on the most high. But you know, when we're doing things in this world, we lose sight and lose track of what is important. And you know, when you lose sight and lose track of the important things, we still have the ability to get right back on track, you know, retracing our steps, focusing, doing the research needed for us to actually place ourselves in the best position possible, you know, and at the end of the day, we may sin knowingly and we may sin not knowing that we are sinning. And we have to actually understand how we can avoid sin. You know, sin only makes our life worse. It does not make our life better. You know, trying to do negative things in this world in order to see if your position and your plan can change towards a win instead of a loss isn't going to help. You know, many times we try to do negative things because we may have saw other people do negative things and receive results and benefits. But at the end of the day, those things are short lived. You know, take care of yourself, take care of your life, focus on your life. You know, you're unique. Don't think because people may have things that you may not have. They may have people who like them that may not like you, that your life isn't important. You know, many times people do play favorites in this life. And many times people like other people more than other people, you know. But at the end of the day, you just got to shake it off and move forward. Like, if we try to gain attention and validation from people who do not care for us or like us we're only destroying ourselves because we're trying to fit in somewhere where we're not meant to fit in sometimes you may not do anything actually and people may not like you you know you may have a good work ethic and that work ethic that people see they may not like that you know other people may treat you special they may treat you properly they may treat you good and other people see that and they may not like that you may have a gift or a talent and people gravitate to your gift and talent and others may not have a gift or talent and people do not gravitate to their gifts or talents and with that being said we're all unique we all have different abilities you just have to tap into the abilities that you have you know and at the end of the day, it's not about focusing on other people. You know, with social media 
and all these various different platforms, you're constantly being shown other people's wins, other people's identities, other people's personifications. And many times when you see these things, you start to feel depressed, alone, stress, sorrowful, because people only show the good side of social media. They do not show what is really going on in their personal life. So many people take the things that they see on social media for face value and actually think that is what's really going on. But in reality, many times things are not what it is being shown to you as. And we have to get out of the mindset of just thinking because of what we see that it's really going on and it's really working for this person and that person and just take yourself seriously because I feel that when you start to look at what other people are doing and focusing on what other people are doing, then you're really putting yourself last. You're really putting God last and you're making these people your God because you want to be like them. So don't do that. Understand that even when sinning, man, it's crazy because you could be in a proper headspace and that headspace can lead you to doing things that you may not understand that you're doing in that moment. You can be in a good headspace one moment and then after another moment, the enemy may try to compromise that headspace and make you do wicked, evil things. Think various negative thoughts towards other people. You know, you may have traumatic experience in the past and those traumatic experiences may try to shape your future and make you think negative thoughts towards other people. You know, sometimes someone could be in a position that you're not in and they're trying to help you, but you look at it from a negative state and a state of competition and that person may be trying to help you and try to elevate you. And because you look at it as competition, you don't see the blessing that God provides you in that given moment. So we have to be honest, be real with ourselves and know that sin could oftentimes destroy our progression and destroy the path and the mission that God has planned for us. So I want to read these scriptures to you today, and I hope these scriptures help you on your path and your journey. First John 8.10 if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful, and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. Romans 3:23. For all have sinned, and fall short of the glory of God. See, what we must understand is, even if we think that we may not have sinned and may not have done the wrong thing. We're all susceptible to sin. We all made wrong decisions and choices and mistakes. We've all walked a path that has led to destruction, but we're still able to repent, speak to the Most High constantly, and actually form a proper relationship with the Most High. I'm a firm believer that we are in spiritual warfare every single day, good versus evil. The Most High wants us to walk in one direction and the enemy is pulling us towards another direction. What direction that we choose to walk into will determine our fate. Many times we do not understand the significance of this life due to distractions, but these distractions have to be removed from our life in order for us to actually progress. Distractions are there to stop you. Distractions are there to stop you from doing the work. We have to do the work, you know, and sometimes with doing the work, it may be hard and you may feel frustrated because you may not understand certain things that are going on in your environment, you know, but in due time, being provided from the Most High, everything will make sense. You know, not today and not tomorrow, but it's a constant process. You can't just want quick results today because someone else shows their results. Year after year after year, 
you will start to have the answers that you want to know if you're seeking the most high. The most high makes it easy for us to understand. We just have to be aware of the world that we're living in and be conscious of our decisions. Every decision that we make, whether it's good or bad, has consequences. And with these consequences, this provides us the ability to have self-reflection and move forward in our daily lives and actually provide others with the opportunity to understand our personal journeys and our personal experiences. I want to thank you for watching today and I hope that you understand that we must pull away from sin and understand that we have to be led by the most high in everything that we do. Even if it's a hard road and it's a hard journey, we're still able to follow the most high as we are going on our daily lives today. Peace.